Yes, so welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for the women's 10-kilometer classical uh, style race press conference. I will ask the athletes uh, one or two questions each, after which they are free, free to leave, and you can ask them questions if they would like to answer. That's up, up to them. Uh, I will... I will start with, uh, in third place, uh, Natalia Nepraeva of Russia. Uh, congratulations on the third place. Uh, are you satisfied with the third place or do you feel you could have closed the gap to the top two a bit more? Да, в общем, я довольна своим результатом и мне... Мне не очень понравилось самочувствие на первом кругу, но на втором я довольна, что я смогла разогнаться и отыграть то, что я проиграла на первом кругу. Yeah, she's satisfied with the results. Uh, she was not so fast on the first lap, in her opinion, but on the second one she could reach her maximal speed and close the gap a little bit from the girls who are a little bit behind. Okay. Uh, do you feel you can reach the podium again tomorrow? Ну, конечно, я буду бороться и сделаю все, что от меня зависит, чтобы быть и завтра на подиуме. For sure, she will fight tomorrow because it's not so big gap, and uh, she will do her best to be on the podium tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Natalia. And. Let's pass the mic on to Krista, please. Hi, Krista. Uh, well done on the second place. Are you happy with your own performance in today's race? Uh, yes, I'm happy. And uh, of course, I, I think that uh, when uh, Teresa gets me, uh, she helping me to this last four kilometers. Uh, but I also feeling that I could go a little bit faster in the flat, uh, flat part, but uh, because now that she's so, so good in the uphill, I think that she, she can uh, do work and I try to be behind, behind her and uh, fighting to uh, until finish line. Okay, thank you. And I'll ask the next, next question from Krista in Finnish. Uh, mitä fiiliksiä jakaisit sun massiiviselle kannattajajoukoille täällä Rukalla ja ympäri Suomea, kun sä lähdet huomenna takaajoon Teresen perään? Uh, itse asiassa nyt vasta kuulin näitä. Mä en tiedä, mit, mitkä ne erot on huomiselle, mutta että huomenna tulee olemaan kova päivä. Ilmeisesti vähän kylmempi ja lunta pitäisi sadella huomenna, mutta että neljä kertaa mennään toi Hirmumäki, toi eka nousu, melkein kilometrin nousu, että varmasti se suosii häntä enempiä ja takaa tulee kova joukko, mutta että lähdetään taistelemaan sinne ja mä uskon, että mä pystyn myös menestyyn vapaalla ja lähden tekemään hyvää tulosta ja katsotaan. Tylsästi sanotaan, katsotaan mihin se riittää, mutta että mä uskon, että mulla on kunto ihan hyvä ja mä teknisesti pystyn kyllä myös vapaalla taistelemaan hyvistä sijoista. Kiitos. And uh, next up, uh, Therese, the winner of the race. Uh, con congratulations on the win. Uh, you won by a clear margin today. Your thoughts on the race and your own condition today? <coughs> First of all, I'm really happy to be back to the top of the podium again. And uh, I felt really good out there. Uh, Crystal starting 30 seconds uh, in front of me, so I I saw her. <laughs> so I tried to push myself, and uh, yeah, to the second lap we go together uh, to the finish. So uh, yeah, I had really good skis, and uh, it was tough condition out there with the snow, and so uh, I'm really happy actually. Yeah, you start tom tomorrow's pursuit in, in a strong position. Uh, is the pressure now on you to win tomorrow also? <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, I know that I have the pressure on me, but uh, I have focus on uh, what I should do tomorrow, and I know that I have to be in good shape and have good skis and a good day to uh, to try to fight for the first place. But... Uh, uh, I know that the, this day was really important uh, for the mini tour in the end and uh, I'm really happy now that I have a, a good chance to, to fight to the first uh, place to, in the overall tomorrow. Okay, congratulations again. And um, the official part of the press conference is now over. The athletes are free to leave. Thank you.